Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today I have a very interesting unboxing for you, something that came in from Blade Ops um, out in Utah. So I'm pretty excited to open this up, so let's go ahead and dig right into it. Today I'm opening it up with my um, Olamic Custom Ripper Snapper. This is the one with the S90V steel and the copper infused fat carbon scales. Beautiful, just perfectly, just really nice knife, by the way. All right, let's dig right into it. All right, box within the box. Oop. We'll go ahead and take that little receipt, put that off to the side, see what we got here. All right, got a little cool little thing there and some some peanuts, they're flying everywhere. <laughs> oh, they're getting away. All right, let's see what we can do here. Okay, I'm gonna have to pause that for a second. All right, we're back. Sorry, somebody rang on the doorbell. So let's take a look. I got something in here from Boker and got it in from Blade Ops. Cool little uh, patch, that's kind of neat, Velcro patch. Like, it looks like leather, I'll have to take a look at that later. Very cool. Let's dig into the knife here. In case you're curious, this is, oh, it's not open yet, so I need to open that up as well. This is the Boker, Boker Urban, oh, come on, focus. Trapper and JG10. All right, let's take a look at that. Nice little bag there. This is my first Boker, actually. I've never bought anything from Boker before. What do we got in here? All right, kind of got a little card here. Boker Plus, interesting. A little dry silicate packet, very cool. Just a little, looks like just a little owner's manual thing there. Very cool. And here we go. All right, some packaging, that's interesting. Not used to having it in a kind of fancy packaging like that. There we go. All right, so this is the Urban Trapper. Kind of a cool little exclusive for Blade Ops. Um, let's take a look at that. Very nice and centered. Kind of got a nice big clip. This is JG10. Looks like it's a front flipper only, so let's try it. Very nice. Now this is a hollow grind. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if we can get that hollow grind view in there. Can we get that? You see that? Yeah, that's pretty nice. Nice hollow grind. A trapper tip, and it is a bolster lock, if you can see that. It's all blacked out, and uh, Boker, and this is, uh, I guess, the part number right there. Does it say, oh, here we are. Does it say M390 blade steel? Let's see how it drops. Ooh, that's really nice. Very nice. Yeah. Let's see, is it front flipper? Yeah, absolutely front flip. Well, nice. Okay, so it drops really well. It's my first boker ever. Now, mind you, I did find out that this boker is made by Riot, so it's a little different than traditional pokers. And there's the clip. It is rounded. You can see that it's nice and rounded on the clip. It's definitely got a little ramp to go over. I like the JG10, which means I could dye it if I wanted to, right? Now, I believe these screws, they look like they might be T8s. I'll have to check that, but they sure look like T8s. That's nice. And it is a hidden, a hidden um, deep carry clip. That means the screw is probably inside, which, yep, if we look, we can actually see it. There it is in there. And it flips really, really nicely. Now, it's pretty big. We're looking at about three and a half inches, so that's really cool. Yeah, and it drops really nicely. I like that a lot. Oops, let's see here, just gotta make sure I clear it. Drops really well. It's a front, nice front flipper as well. I really do like that a lot. That's cool. I like the, the, the black blade. It's a very, it's a thin one, so you can see it's definitely a thin slicer. You can see that? Nice thin, but it does have a swedge on top, so it's meant to be a cutter. Definitely very thin behind the edge because it's definitely a hollow grind. Let's feel that edge. Oh, super, super sharp. Yeah, absolutely nice. 
This would be a great gentleman's carry, I think. I really would enjoy carrying that. I like the whole handle. I mean, it's it's a pretty good size, but it's very thin. It's like a like I have my Pena X Series Trapper. I really like that one a lot. It's a nice small knife. I wore that to my son's wedding, and uh, I think I'm keeping it because of that. It's a good memory. So, um, yeah, I really like this a lot. This is nice. This is nice. This is definitely a slicer, something very cool to carry along. I mean, I could dye this black and it would look great, but I could also dye it maybe orange or red or, or some other kind of cool color, gray. I don't know. But I really do like that. That's really nice. The action is beautiful. And it flips over the top really well. So there's no real action place to get, so you can't really flip it or anything like that. So this is going to be exclusively a definitely a front flipper. Now notice there is a little jimping right there, which is nice. So if you wanted to, with the jimping here, if you want to choke up, you can choke up for a push cut, for a nice push cut, right? Definitely can do that. But I mean, this is, I've got medium to medium large hands. I mean, this is for extra large, double extra large, or even probably three extra large hands. For a small, thin knife, if you're looking for like a gentleman's carry for larger hands, I think this would be a great consideration. I know there's a couple of my viewers who have larger hands and they like some of the knives I show, but you know, some of them are too small. Hey, you want to check this one out. I think you'd be really happy with this. I am. I mean, it almost could be too big, but I really like the size. I like, I like the, the presentation. It's got enough width and it's beautifully contoured. So you can see that it's beautifully contoured all the way around. This is nice and softened on the, on the clip. It is a pretty wide clip, but there's no, no, no doubt about that. It's an aggressively wide clip. But it, I'm going to have to try it out and see how it goes. Of course, we'll do a little you know review and everything, and I'll tell you how that all turned out afterwards. But let's see. Yeah, okay, so every time it drops, it's dropping right here on the, the choil. So there is a little a sharpening choil. It's not a big one. I know like Neve's knives, he would not like that because you don't get a whole lot of sharpening and you will definitely probably cut into the relief there. You'd have to put a little, you could, you know, put your own sharpening choil in there if you wanted to. It's up to you. I would probably tend to, you know, use my leather strop and I don't know if I would ever sharpen this, but this is such a nice knife. I really do like that. I'm very pleased. This is an exclusive, by the way, from Blade Ops, this JG10. They have other versions with the titanium handles. Beautiful, gorgeous. Highly recommend them. I mean, they're going to be more expensive, there's no doubt. Probably also amazing. They're, the other one that they have, it's not a trapper. I forget which one it is, but it is a, it is definitely a, um, a smaller knife. But this one is really a great size. I like that a lot. And I really like, yeah, look at that. That, that flips open really nicely. So I can do the, the finger up. Yeah, can I get the finger up here? Can definitely do the finger like that. Let's see here. Definitely do that. All right, so let's see. Let's do left-handed. Absolutely can flip it left-handed. We do over the top left-handed. Let's see. Just got to get, got to make sure I get, yep, I can. I just got to gotta get the right grip. The trick with this one is going to be, I don't want to be pull, pushing on the frame lock or the bolster lock, right? As long as I can clear that, I should be good. But that action is beautiful. Yeah, still... Oh, that might be a little off. Let's see. Are we loose? No, we're in there tight. But let's check that. Let's see. Are we still center? Yeah, it might be off just a hair. I'll have to. I'll have to take a look at that and see if that's if that's just because it's a little loose or something, and we need to put a little Loctite on there. But I do like that. And dropping it right here. Yeah, it catches right there on the finger choil. So I'm good. I'm not hitting. I'm not hitting the sharpness on my finger. So that's really cool. All right. Well, I'm trying a different angle, by the way, too, on the camera. I don't know if you guys noticed that. So that's a little different. All right. So it's definitely all blacked out. You can see the the G10 beautiful frame lock. It's a very high edge there. So that's really nice. You can see the relief right in there. Can we see that? That's underneath the bolster, underneath the the scale. So that's out of the way. Uh, beautifully contoured. I like the, the liner here. Let me see. Do I have my magnet? I thought I had a magnet over here. Oh, wait. Let me see if I can grab that. I want to see. Is this... Okay. Yeah, so it's a titanium. Titanium. Titanium, yeah. All right. Yeah, the blade is steel, obviously. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, that's all titanium. That's very good. Very good. Very super cool, man. Super cool. I like that. But, um... You've got really nice jimping, and it's not super aggressive. It's not going to rip, rip your hand off at all. I do like that a lot. That's really nice. 
So I'm trying to do this sideways so you can get a nice view of that and see the action there. And you can, I don't know if we can get a nice angle. Can you see the hollow grind? If we can see the, the, the shadows a little bit, see if I can get the nice shadow. You can see that definitely comes out to a super crazy thin edge. That's just insane. Definitely going to be a slicer. I mean, it's not going to be a, no tool should be a prying tool, right? I mean, no knife should be a prying tool. Get a, get a pry bar, you know, if you're going to do that. But this, if you try to pry with this one, you're, I hate to say this, you, you're not very intelligent because this is so thin, you will ruin this, this blade. Now, if you're in an emergency and that's all you've got, you know, do what you can to stay, stay, stay alive and be safe and be healthy. But don't, um, don't, um, don't plan on this being pry bar by any stretch of imagination. It is rather thin, which is, makes it going to be an incredible slicer, no doubt. I really think that's going to be amazing. But the action is great, so it's got to have caged ceramic ball bearings. And let's let's take a look look at the lockup. All right, so the lockup, I think we're right at. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's about 20%. I don't know if we can get the right angle there. But yeah, we're about 20%, I think. So definitely good. Definitely no blade rock in there. Let's see how it goes into with the detent. Yep, nice click. Do we have any? No, de no detent lash. Yeah, definitely. And let's see where we, where we clear the. All right, so this is where you clear right there. All right, so once you clear, about right there. Yeah, so the ball hits, the, the tang of the blade goes over, it's now cleared. You're now in a clear position for the drop. So that's really nice. And I don't think, let's see, I don't think there's a ramp on there. Nope, there's not a ramp. So it's straight up, but that's that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Um, let's see, is there any relief cut in there? No, not really, but it is JG10 insert, so that's definitely going to bring some relief because you can see right there um, a lot of the, sorry, you can see right there. This is a new camera angle for me. I'm not sure if I like this, so I apologize if I keep missing it because it's a little different here for me. I think I might change it back because I'm, I'm missing some of my shots, so I apologize. But um, definitely relief for the JG10, so it definitely gives you some weight reduction for sure. It's not a heavy knife at all. You know, we'll, we'll do the full review and get the, the specs for it and everything. I mean, this is kind of a, a wide, kind of a duckbill sort of clip. I know somebody's going to think that's like a, you know, kind of goofy, but, you know, with a thin knife like this, I can see the the reason for it. You would definitely get some good pressure. Now, you're not getting, it's not totally flat there, as you can see. It's just, it's got a little ramp. It's going to have a little slope ramp to get over, and then coming out should be pretty easy. Let's see, how's the bend? Yeah, it's got some, you know, it definitely, it definitely has some tension, but it's not crazy. I mean, I can bend that back, which is great. Sometimes when you get some of these clips, you know, they're ridiculous. They're hard to get out. So, ooh, yeah, that's really moved over quite a bit now. I'm going to have to go get a screwdriver. So, hey, hold on a second. I'll be right back. All right, so let's, let's get this. I'm pretty sure that's a, these are T8, so we'll go ahead and check that right now. Yeah, T8's great. And it might need two screwdrivers. I don't know. doesn't look like it's a captive pivot. That is a bummer, but that's all right. That's why I have two screwdrivers. Yeah, it's definitely a little loose. Let's see how that fixes. Oh, yeah. Now it's back. Perfect. Yes, all right. Sir. I'm already really highly disappointed. I cannot fix this. It's already stripped in there. All right. Well, that's my review. I'm going to contact them because this is unfortunate that they got this loose that quick and then tightening and trying to get the screw off just to put a little Loctite on there is ridiculous. It's already totally off center. This is not going to work. It's going to scratch the blade. Uh, look at those screws. Just trying to screw that in and screw it out. That, that is that, that that is ridiculous. <sighs> I am very, very frustrated at this point. All right, so this is a terrible experience so I, i'm not sure i can recommend this unless they can do something i'm going to let them know i'm going to show them the video this is this is not this is ridiculous this is absolutely insane and ridiculous no knife should be this difficult and strip out just trying to tighten it i mean that that is <sighs> yeah all right so that's it um i'm, I'm done um Again, one of those reviews, I'm just going to be straight up and honest with you. Hopefully they can do something. If not, um, you should not, you should be able to tighten this. You should be able to put the screw on and, and, and put a little Loctite on there and easily put it back on. It should not be this much of an endeavor and it shouldn't be so tight on one of the other pivots that you can't even turn it. That, that's, 
That's insane. I have done hundreds and hundreds of these, worked on the top, highest end knives. Heck, I've done a whippersnapper that's four times more expensive than this thing, and that is a no problem whatsoever. So, anyways, it's supposed to be Riot built, supposed to be quality, but no captive pivot is a real disappointment. As you can see, because you can't even get the, the screws in there and thread it in there, now it's scuffed across there, and that is unacceptable. That is bad. So, I'm hoping that this is an exception, and if it's not, I'm going to get my money back. So, and we'll just We'll talk to Boker directly if we have to, if Blade Ops can't take care of it. I assume they can, so I'll have to reach out to him. So that's my unboxing. Hey, if you like this video, if you like the experiences, you like the honesty, give it a like down below. And uh, if, you, if you're already giving it a like, maybe subscribe. Subscribing and like it really helps out my channel, helps me to grow and keep producing more content. And if you've done that, maybe consider hitting the no notification so you can be notified of future content. If you've And if you've done all that, check me out over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. That's on Instagram at robs underscore underscore Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives. Thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.